There's one. There's another one. Yep, there's another one grabbed it. Ooh. Trying to make a run over there. Come this way, fish. What is happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. I've got a couple hours this afternoon to go fishing, and uh, looks like it could be good. We got some cloud cover, a little bit of wind. Uh, water's maybe 50 degrees right now uh, in a little pond like this, so we'll see. Hopefully, there's some fish active. If not, I guess you'll never see the video anyway. So, enough yapping, let's go fishing. Nothing here, huh? I don't believe that. There's one. Little dude. At least we got on the board for the day. Not a monster, but we'll take it. Alright, first one of the day on the little underspin. I felt like today could be an underspin day. First one to take it. Tiny dude. Thanks, Feller. That's one that came in that uh, Bank and Creek unboxing, the uh, Scottsboro little swim bait. Really like that color. Green pumpkin with that blue and pearl. Little underspin, that Great Lakes finesse. Okay, one. Can we find any more? Just slow rolling this. You can see we got a good ripple on the water. Overcast. Perfect for this time of year. I wish it was just a little warmer, a couple warmer days. We had a big cold front. Kind of destroyed the bite, but... Hopefully we'll find a few one to eat today. There's another, oh, lost him. Okay, good sign. Another bite on it. Can we connect with him though? I wanna turn bites into catches. Bunch of bites on video isn't fun to watch. Catching a few fish, that's pretty fun to watch. There's another one. All right, well, the little dudes are interested in it anyway. I don't know if that's the same one that just hit it, but we'll take him. Oh, and look at his gullet. Broke the tail off. A little tiny tail in there, so they're definitely eating something. Cool. Okay, well hopefully this will be enough of a match to it. I don't know if they're eating bluegill or baby bass. That kind of does both. Cool, we'll take it. Come on, fish. Keep eating a little underspin. I like this one too because it's finesse. Even the wire on it. And I know people say, well, this isn't very thick. This isn't gonna, gonna hold up, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's the whole point to this is being a nice little small finesse, you know, underspin type deal. Ow. And as you can see, it's sharp. <laughs> Mental note, Debo, don't poke your finger with hooks. Big dummy. Keep slow rolling through here. Really all I'm doing is just slow reeling this and then kind of giving it a little pop pop every once in a while to make it look like the bait fish kind of jumping, you know, skipping. Chee -chee -chee. Slow reeling. Both those guys have just hit it on a slow reel in. There's one. Ooh, a little bit better pulling a little drag on me. Well, when I say a little bit better, better than the four ounce ones I was catching. Looked like he was caught on something out there too. I wonder if he'd go a pound. Man, we are crushing him today, fish friends. This is your stereotypical Debo's fishing in a day. Another dude to add to the tally. There it is, the deadly little underspin. Love it. Scott's I really like this one. I feel like this one's thinner too. Some of the older ones were a little bit harder that I had. This one feels a little softer. That dude took a nosedive and is just stuck there in the water. Not sure why he's just sitting there. It'll take him a minute here, then he'll he'll come too. Boy, that dude smacked it though. He was definitely looking to eat. Like I said, that's a good clue. Always make sure you look inside the fish's mouth. That one was chewing on some sort of bait. There's one. All right. Eating the old bait fish. Cool. Fun day, man. I've only got a few hours to fish, but it was a day I thought I was going to be busy. Instead, got a few hours to come out and catch them, and I'm like, man, it looks like a good day to catch them. They're eating it. There we go. Another one. Thank you, sir. Chewing it up. Still the same one. What's that? Four fish so far on it? 
soft. I like it. I like that one. I like that color. I forget what the color is called too, but I dig it. So the thing I've noticed too is just adding the pops. I'm just really trying to watch the speed that I'm reeling. It's been kind of just a slow, consistent, not too fast, not too slow where I'm hitting bottom and getting gunked up in this. You know, as a bank angler sometimes with these spinny things on the bottom, grabbing all that moss and such, trying to keep it just out of that, but not go too fast where I'm really burning it, getting up too high above them. Yep, there's another one grabbed it. Oh, what a bunch of fun. Even though this is the typical, stereotypical Debo Dink Fest, I'll take it because, by golly, it's a day that I didn't think I was gonna get out. And now I'm catching fish. It's a good day. Oh man, you know they want it when they do that. You know they're eating bait when he can't even see the lure that they just ate. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh, you love to see that when they just swallow the whole thing. Cool, there we go. Chunked out little dude. He's over a pound. He's got a big old belly on him. We'll take a bunch of those. Why not? I'm not a trophy hunter. I just love getting out here and fishing. Like I said, today was a day I didn't think I'd be able to get to with family stuff and work and obligations and such. Man, you go out and fish when you can and enjoy it, you know? Don't fall victim to the whole... Instagram and even some YouTube, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You see the the videos where we catch them, but People on YouTube, how many times do they go out and not catch anything? The day sucks. It's a struggle Happens happens to all of us go out go fish and have fun There's one Boy, if you like the vidges where it's dinking with Debo, I know some people were a little concerned that I'd caught a couple, you know, decent fish, some bigger ones. Well, not to be too worried. We're we're back to the old the old dink fest, huh? That's okay. It's okay. I'll take them. All right, there we go. Another one. I think there's a little piece of wood there or something he was on. There we go. Best one of the day after making a move and halfway falling in. We'll take him, pound and a half or finally. Beats the super dinks and I get a little wet for this one. I fell in into my knee. Pound and a half or cool, pound and three quarter maybe we'll take him. Best one on that baby right there. I love it. That color is sick. Purple in it, got that green on top. Love me an underspin bite. There's another one back to back. Got to come out on this. Yeah, feels like a good one. I was wondering if once we got down here, like I said, where this wind was blowing in, if that could be more of the deal. Oh, glad I got a bendy rod. That's that Arid X. $50 rod. I'm liking it. There we go. Another little pounder. Oh, how many can we get today on that silly little little under spinach, huh? I will take a full day. This this is that budget combo I got. The rod's not as bad as I thought. I've been holding it. It's not the best, but it's not horrible. But uh, yeah, a little budget. That's the RG. Pretty good so far. Another one. Oh, smoked it right there. That would have been three in a row. Look at that. I would say that's one. I think it's time to switch baits out here. Dang, that would have been three casts in a row. So I think bad, I need to get hip waders instead of just these knee boots. I could get out there a little farther, but working with what old Debo's got here. There's one little guy. Back to the tiny dudes. Oh, he just come off too. What? How did I go from not losing a single fish to losing two in a row? There's one. All right. Underspin. Putting in the work for me. Ooh. Trying to make a run over there. Come this way, fish. 
I can't get over there, fish. Gotta try to work in my way over here. There we go. Oh, no! Dang it! Just lost a big one. Fudge! Oh, that sucks. How did I go from not losing anything to losing three in a row? And it's still sharp as heck. Oh, dang it. That was a good one. There's one. Another little dude. Not the big one that we missed before, but we'll take another one on the tally. I guess maybe we'll see if we get them in after losing the last three. stuff makes it hard there we go another little pound and a half or wish we could have caught that big one dang it but we'll still take those guys pound and a quarter he ain't a pound and a half -er. we'll still take all those that we can get man it's just been slow rolling this thing trying to just fan cast i don't know if they're just kind of moving around semi-active eating or what but doesn't seem to be you know piled up in one place around sticks or a lay down or anything it's just kind of fan casting looking for what i can There we go. Man, it's been a lull. Moved around a little bit. This is the spot we were catching all of them before. Ended up casting my line, got wrapped around the end of my rod. Snapped off my other one, so I had to tie up a, another one that I had here. Luckily, I had some more with me. The other one before was like a gray head with a silver blade. This is a white head with a gold blade on it. So I was like, oh, are we still gonna get bit? Enough for one more dink, I guess. Well, we never found the big one. He never came back. Darn it. I guess that's the way it goes. That one completely pulled the heck out of my bait. This was a brand new bait on here. There we go. That simple rig. That's it. That's all I've needed. I didn't even need to bring everything else that I had. Spinning rod. You know, this isn't a crazy expensive one. You know, people, we talk about budget stuff all the time. Fish within your budget. This is $50 rod. I think $60 reel, you know, get these on sale. You can get really close to 100. Awesome little rig here. So I'll go over all this at the end too. We're gonna keep fishing. I've still got maybe an hour left is all. But by golly, it's been uh, it's been a pretty fun bite. No giants, but man, when you get a day that you thought you weren't gonna be able to get out and fish, and you can, and it looks like it's gonna be a good day with some ripple on the water and overcast, you take advantage of it, dang it. There's another one. A doink, he hit slack into it. Ferocious little dinks in here, I tell you what. Well, they're fighting, they're putting up a good fight out here. Fun to me, dang it. I get to get out and catch fish. Beats sitting at home on the couch eating Doritos. Boy, and I tell you what, did I tell you he thumped it with some anger? You know they're eating bait. And you're throwing the right thing when that happens. When you can't even see that little dude clear down in the gullet. Oh, yes. There we go. Another one. They're little guys, but gosh dang it, this is fun. All right, fishing friends. It was a fun trip on the water, especially because it's one of those days where you get the whole bite narrowed down to one thing. I didn't need to throw anything else. They were definitely chasing little bait fish around there. And that was the rig that did it all for me. That Great Lakes finesse underspin head. And again, I say finesse because this hook is a light wire. I know people are gonna throw this on like a medium heavy and be like, oh, I bent it out. Well, it's a light, light, light finesse wire hook. So that's why I was throwing it on a spinning rod. I'll go over that in a second. But um, this little underspin with that Scottsboro Young Yum collab, that's that siren color. That's one of those um, special runs of colors. Came in the Bank and Creek kit. They only make a few of those. I'll leave my link below. Um, you can go over to LureNet, pick some of these up. You can get 15% off when you use my code. A little bit of that does come back to me to help out the channel. So I appreciate anybody that uses that. If you shop somewhere else, I still love you. The rod, this is the Daiwa Arid X, a budget rod, 50, 55 bucks, something like that. You can get this when you get the rod and reel on sale. You can get this whole combo for under hundred bucks, but I got the medium light version, seven foot medium light rated for lures one eighth to a half ounce. 
with the 2500 size die regal that's the new version i showed you this a while back i've been very pleased with this reel um, both this one and the old one have been stellar i do kind of like the t-handle i didn't know how i was going to like that uh, on this one my other one's just got the little you know the regular round diwa i like these i don't know what you all think comment below do you like the the T handles are just like a little straight one. I don't know, but this whole combo felt good. Um, that's the P line TCB braid on there, 10 pound. Uh, and then I was going to an eight pound leader on that. So whole finesse setup, it's a good soft rod. And you notice some of those fish I was landing and pulling up, I was like, I have my rod straight up and down, which is a huge no-no because once you get that tip bending, you know, over past that 90 degree mark, you've got a really good chance to break the tip of it. But with the sensitivity of the braid, um, I didn't have any trouble feeling those bites. I missed a couple fish. Almost fell in on that one, the biggest fish of the day, probably two and a half pounder, I would guess. Um, but still a lot of fun. You know, we can when you can take one combo out with you, you've got it completely dialed in like that. Um, it's always fun instead of, you know, switching around, trying to figure it out, locking one thing in your hand and just going. You're just focused on one thing and that's making as many different presentations of those spots as you can. And for me, all my fish were on those slight little gradual drop-offs. So comment below, let me know what has been working for you this spring. Have, have you had a day where you've locked in one or has it kind of been, you know, a crapshoot? It's like throw this, throw that, a little bit of everything. And today's subscribe feature and friend is from my guy, John Hancock. This is on Instagram. He actually shared Booyah's post because they shared the post actually of this one. The video I just did on the bone lures, those are all also available over at LureNet, the bone color that I love. I'm glad they're doing that. But anyway, he said, uh, Debo, I always knew you were destined for greatness as a hand model. Listen. Uh, I don't have beautiful hands, but uh, yeah, do what you can. So all the folks like John and everybody else who continue to uh, support me, you know, sending me lures, watching the videos, thumbs up, all of it means a ton to me. I, again, am nothing without all of you watching. Um, again, just some guy in a basement doing fish and videos. So speaking of fish hats, uh, maybe I'll make some fish hats. Hmm, stay tuned. Anyway, I got to edit. Thanks for watching. And until next time.